Hey, welcome back. Flick Takes is here again, man. I'm here with your boy, Pete Alcide, and I'm your host, Hasib Hossein, and we're here to talk about Shang-Chi. Mm-hmm. But before we do that, shout out to the boy, Pete. He got a movie submitted to the International Film Festival. Congratulations, my man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, you know, <laughs> that movie was made a couple of years ago, and I've been trying to, you know, get it into something. And then finally, I submitted it, and then, yeah, lo and behold, there it is. And the, the actors, they're, they're just fantastic. Hopefully, you know, as we get closer to the viewing, I'll give more information if people are open to either watch it online or if they're nearby. But I'm definitely going to New York to watch that thing. That's for sure. It's, it's going to be cool. Yeah, you know I'll be watching it at least. Hopefully I'll be there. Wink, wink. Know, right? <laughs> we'll, we'll maybe we'll make a review out about it afterwards, right? <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna definitely do a flick takes about it for sure, hundred percent. Um, I'll, I promise not to be harsh, but we, we're gonna do it for sure. It, it's, you know, um, I'm open to criticism. I, I don't mind it at all because that's one of the reasons. Because I know one of the first uh, little movie I made online. I put it online and so many people came back. And honestly, I knew some of the things that weren't right with it because I didn't have all the right equipment. I was still getting things started. But I took all those all those stuff and made sure, you know, if this wasn't 100% right the way I needed it to be, or at least, um, you know, somewhat uh, okay, I wouldn't release it because I know the harshness that can come from fans, you know. So it's cool. It's cool, man. I respect how honorable you are, but you just opened up Pandora's box. But it's yeah. okay. Let's talk about Shang-Chi, the latest Marvel installment into the MCU. Oh, man. Pete, what did you think, man? Dude, it was about time for an Asian character to make its appearance as one of the lead. And we knew Shang- Shang-Chi. I mean, I, I, I heard about it. It wasn't one of the most popular ones that I'm used to. But as soon as... They said they were making that movie. I just couldn't wait. And uh, boy, did that deliver. Now, like the movie was satisfactory. Well, I don't want to say satisfactory. It was satisfying, if you will, for, for, its, for its content, you know, for what you're looking for. I, I like the, some of the nuance in how they didn't make it 100% like the other Marvel. So it's not like you could predict everything that was. I mean, of course, some of the story you could, you know, if you know good story or if you watch a lot of movies, certain things you can sort of see how they're going to come, you know, like he, the way he was trained, this and that. I mean, I, you could guess, it, you know, like he was somewhat familiar with the person that was training him, where the person was coming from. But I like some of the surprises, some of the things that, you know, you didn't see coming, but then came. I like surprises when it comes to movies, because if I can predict the movie, uh, I might enjoy it, but it, it, it kind of ruined it, you know. So what about you? I I really enjoyed it. I think it was much better than Black Widow. Um, but that's not saying much, to be honest. Uh, Black Widow was fine. It was mediocre. But um, it was really good. It was re- it's interesting that Marvel went the route of kung fu movies mm-hmm. and when they did this and i had i was i had a huge blast um i did not expect how do you say his name simu lu yeah something like that. Actor? i might butcher it more than you but yeah okay we're gonna like go that. with that unfortunately i'm sorry if somebody wants to correct us please yeah help me out yeah. but I didn't expect him to be so good with the fighting skills. I, I looked up his Wikipedia. Apparently, he's had a lot of martial arts training, mm-hmm. and it shows. He was yeah. spectacular. I was a big fan that they used wire work in the fight scenes, like they did in old school kung fu movies. Yeah. That I, that was huge for me as yeah. a as a throwback to old school kung fu movies. That was mm-hmm. that was terrific. What did you like about the movie the most? Well, it, it, it was a struggle to really pick out a part that I love. Like you say, you know, I love the most about the movie. But I, I did enjoy that relationship. The story about, uh, it, it, for me, it, it could be because I have a son, but I felt like it was like kind of like a father and son type of story that kind of stood out and it shows that relationship for the tough time. And when it was time for him to, you know, pass the mental. You know, he was not afraid of 
you know, giving up, if you will, just let go, knowing that his son was ready to move on. And that, that, that I, I, I'm a sucker for a good story. And I thought this was, uh, it was well put together as far as, you know, that part of the story. And I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the story was not as generic as most of the MCU movies. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, I really enjoyed how the storyline story was nonlinear. There was a couple of flashbacks here and there. I really appreciated that. Um, one of my favorite things about this movie was Tony Leung. Uh, I don't know if the American audience is very familiar with him or not. I am. I'm a huge fan of Hong oh, Kong yeah. cinema. And he's one of my favorite actors. And he's just one of the coolest, smoothest yeah. MFers in all mm-hmm. movies, in my opinion. And just having... Him in an MC movie, I was geeking out. Huge you know, fan of him. You know, I, I actually looked into it. I'm like, yo, how can they have him on there for just a one movie deal? Because I looked into it because I'm like, yo, is he going to be back? But it was just one movie deal. I'm, I'm wondering if they, are they going to go back to the drawing table and say, yo, bro, you know, you have you had a big fan base. Not that he didn't before, but a lot of people responded very well knowing, that, you know, seeing how much, how he performed. Because he's always like that, nice and smooth. And I mean, we'll get into that later. His wife as well in the movie, like the way they met. The, again, the story sort of stood out for me in, in, in several ways. But yeah, the, the way the he, she she performed, she her her fighting skills in there, it was kind of like a cadence. I mean, music, you know, the, the, you know, it was more of a, you know, I don't know. She was gliding, you know, back and forth. And so I, th- I thought it was different and again like you mentioned it, you know, it's not a typical marvel movie but i like the way they, they fit it in there especially towards the end but we'll <laughs> get to that at the you know the the credit uh, the, the the credits um, the extra uh, screen credit at the end but yeah we'll talk about that did you appreciate how they retconned the the mandarin's 10 rings I thought it was fantastic, and and I think may, maybe they could find uh, like other ways, but I think any other way would probably wouldn't wouldn't seem as classy, you know. It wouldn't seem as welcoming. It would be a little weirder. I don't know, but I, I thought there was. Just, I wouldn't think of doing it like that, but that was that was nice. That was nice because you know. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, no, I really enjoyed it. I thought they kind of. Uh... I thought Iron Man 3 ruined the Mandarin character and they really screwed that up and they threw a nod to it by bringing Ben Kingsley back. And I appreciated that. (laughs) Yeah. I I thought that was a good kicker. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything about the movie you didn't like? Oh, well, I don't want to ruin it. The part I didn't like, I don't know if it's a, if it's a, if it's gonna run the movie for a lot of people, but I, I think I may have somewhat, you know, kind of point that out a little bit uh, about Tony. You know, it's the fact that he's a one deal, so you kind of have an idea that he might die. So mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't, I don't think he should have messed. Even if he, you know, passed on the mental, I don't think he should have died. I think. Maybe I would have wanted him to come back, and that's just my own personal selfish, you know, entertainment. But you know, I'm like, oh man, he can't just go. The, the man sort of made like when he's on screen, whether it was long or short, he sort of commanded the screen. And you, 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 know, you want to pay attention to what is he gonna say, what is he gonna do, you know, what exactly is he's gonna do that's gonna come back? Because you know how it is when father's talking to son. At some point, he's gonna have to remember some of that stuff, you know, during hard time, you know, blah blah blah, typical story. But you kind of want that to see to stick to him sticking around as his son sort of, you know, rise up to be the one, you know. So I thought that that that's not really the only part. I mean, they had I also some of the fighting scenes in the ring. Of course, they kind of messed up showing that Abomination was in there, but in, during the trailer. But I, I thought that was too short. I I, I would have wanted a little more abomination because you know abomination is no small small potato. Even when you watch the Incredible Hulk, you know the dude who played him, I like him. Like anything he does, like I appreciate his you know his sturdiness and his you know his presence on screen. 
uh, from mm -hmm. Incredible Hulk. But anyway, I thought some of the fighting scenes were 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 short. If if I count correctly, they had over eleven some uh, something fighting scenes. <laughs> we're talking about like yeah, different ones, but most of the short ones happened when you know when the sister had the, the place, and you know I, I thought that was that that was a little robbery for not giving us a little more of that, and that's just because I like the whole fighting scene. But yeah, I guess these parts kind of stuck out with me, and I didn't care very much for that. Well, what, while we're on the subject, what was your favorite fighting scene? Uh, honestly, I think it's the father and son part when he had to prove himself. I, I, because I, the thing is, he, the father was pushing, and he was, but it didn't seem like he, he would have wanted to to kill him. It, it was more like he wants to know that okay, this dude is ready, kind of thing. You know, I guess it stood out. But I also enjoy the, what's his name, the, the, the villain. He, I think the way he, uh, his story line came along, he was very relatable. So you kind of sort of rooting for him at the same time you, of course, you don't want him, he can't win, but you're kind of rooting for him. So the, the you know, you, you sort of want him to really adapt and actually uh, you know, at least make his point. Because how many people in America, in the world, have similar stories? Things are being ripped away from them, and they kind of want revenge. But at the same time, you can't really go about it in any, any kind of way that could hurt other people. You know. So, but yeah, I mean, how about you? What part? Uh, what was your favorite part? I guess. Yeah, that, we're gonna start that. I think my favorite fight scene was the first one in the bus. It was just. A lot of fun, really thrilling. A lot of good stunts in that scene. So it was hard to top that one, for, in my opinion. Um, I do want to talk about what I didn't like in this movie. Yeah, please. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Aquafina. I don't know about you, but I thought she was fine in this. They could have had anybody play her role, and I would have mm -hmm. probably enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I don't need Aquafina. And... Spoiler alert, she's going to be in more MCU movies, so... Yeah, I, yeah, she fought, yeah, she had a few de a few um, uh, a movie deals. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I don't know if the movie needed Aquafina, but I actually like Aquafina in the movie. Not oh! Because, yeah, I actually kind of like her because, I, you know, I, I'm a big fan of comedy. And she was the comic relief, right? Now, what I liked... I think that's when I appreciated her in the movie more or less because some of the time, you know, if you're not Aquafina watching anything about Aquafina, she sort of ruined the moments, the serious moments, but she didn't in this movie. She didn't, so she like, you know, you could, and even when she says something that could have been perceived as a funny moment or ruining, but you could see that she could be serious at some, in mm -hmm. some, in some point. So, I guess it's not so much, oh yeah, the movie needed her, but I appreciated her restraint for comic relief. Because we know whenever there's a comic, like if you put, uh, what's his name, Kevin, uh, Ke little Kevin dude, you put him in any movie, serious or not, he messes up the the, the moments when you, like mm -hmm. when people would, like the moment where the tear jerker moments, he would just say something stupid that like, okay, yeah, you might laugh, but that moment is gone. You know, it is, mm -hmm. but I think, each moment should be defined as they are when it comes to the movie. If it's a tearjerker, let, let's, let, you know, let's do that. If it's a time for laughing too, let's do that. You know, and, you know, I, I think, I, I get it. I don't think the movie needed her, but I thought she did a pretty good job. I appreciated her, if you will, because I think she's, she's kind of funny. You know, when I actually first liked her, when she was in Ocho, uh, Ocho, um, uh, o Ocean's 8, Ocean's Ocho. Oh, we're gonna have to disagree because I I did not like Ocean's Eight. I thought Ocean's Eight was no, no. I didn't I didn't like the movie. The movie itself was, uh, but I liked her in there because I thought her she stood out. I thought she stood out at least because she did her part and it was on point for the movie. But I I, I didn't really think very much of the movie. As a matter of fact, I, I yeah, that movie was really. I movie. honestly thought I only yeah. I honestly thought Anne Hathaway stole that movie. I thought she was great in that movie. 
But um, she was a good surprise ending. Yeah, I I personally also I understand it's an MCU movie. You need the CGI, but I don't feel like this movie needed CGI that much. I thought the way they were doing it up until the final scene was fine, but I get it. The thing is, it's a Marvel um, movie. You you need you need the big monsters at the end. So yeah. well, and that's the thing. Disney has the money. Disney wants that to be their signature in most of their movies. Even if you don't need it, they're gonna sneak it in there at some point, you know, just to make sure it's perfect. So yeah. I, I don't know whether or not is it perfect. No, it's, it's, not. It, it's never really perfect. I don't know any movie that do you really need the CGI to make it perfect. Do you? No, you don't. You really don't. But you know how yeah. it is, though. You know how it is. It, yeah. You know, sometimes you used to something, you think this is what's going to elevate everything, but when it's really not, you it so sort of becomes a custom as opposed to a need. You know? Yeah. So I just, I just really enjoyed how they were doing the fight choreography and the stunt work and the wires up mm-hmm. until that point. It just kind of took the air out of the movie for me at that. So yeah, um, Pete, moment of truth. Mm-hmm. What would you give it score wise out of five? Uh, I thought about that, and you know the fact that we kind of skipped the day from when we were supposed to do it. It sort of made me think more about it, and I, like I said, I was writing some notes just based on you know some of the things I remember, some things I enjoy, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, as much as I did, I was entertained by the movie. I I enjoy some of the uh, comic relief. The fight scenes were pretty nice, you know. Uh, you know, it, uh, but you know, for me, some of it were a little too short. I felt robbed of, from that a little bit. So I would give this movie eighty percent. So that oh four four, four out, out of five. five. Yeah. Four out okay, of five. I'm with you, man. I I would give this a four out of five as well. I thought it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. It's humorous. There's some uh, touching moments, a little uh, a bit of family stuff going on in here, family yeah. drama. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. 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 It's a good movie. Yeah. You, you know, for whatever reason, it, it made me think of Thor, uh, the original Thor movie be- that I didn't care for very much, the first one. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I because I thought they would have introduced Thor a lot, like it would have been a better family story because that one was also sort of like a family uh, you know, uh, story storyline, but um, it didn't. And a lot of my favorite actors were in the, you know, um, what's his name? Um, Anthony Hopkins, you know, what's his name? But yeah, like even the mother who played Anthony uh, um, from, from there too, forgot her name. But yeah, a lot of them were, my, you know, my favorite actors. I really thought I was going to like it, but as soon as I saw this one, it reminded me of Thor because it was also in a, fam- a family oriented, uh, you know, drama uh, type of thing. But I thought this one did a better job, a much better job introducing their, um, their introduction as a, as a superhero. And I liked, <laughs> what's his name? The, the actor, I, I don't want to butcher his name, but I liked him, in the, especially in the beginning when they show he's a, typical regular guy who's gonna save the world later on Thor started as a guy and and yeah he's a typical regular guy who does yeah 300 push-ups in the morning and all those pull-ups and has a pretty sick body and it's like whoa what's going on (laughs) yeah and then he goes to work and park cars you know so yeah yeah, that's true yeah so But, but yeah, I, I thought it was a good movie. I mean, should you watch it again? I think I sh- I will definitely check it out again, uh, especially as it comes close. And I can't wait to see him joining the rest of the Avengers. You know when you know because I'm pretty sure. I mean, you've seen the ending that they, they hand a sequel, so let's see if that's gonna happen before the next Avengers, uh, the, before the next Avenger movie uh, come out. But you know, I definitely enjoyed it. And, you know, I would definitely. Uh, suggest that somebody check it out, especially if you're a Marvel fan. You know, it's definitely another one you put under your belt. Too. But if you haven't watched Black Widow, you can go ahead and leave it alone. <laughs> Just go straight into into uh, a shang <laughs> you don't need to watch Black Widow. Yo, it, I was. It good. has no. It has. It has no bearing on the MCU universe whatsoever. It's a standalone movie, so yeah. You know. I 
here, like, I could be very tired. I could be very tired, but if I fall asleep in the movie, that means the movie will, it did not capture my attention. If the, like I could, I can sit there and watch Family Guy if it's a new episode that I've never seen because I want to see it. If it captures my attention, I'll watch it. Same thing for a movie that I enjoy. But if it is, if it's boring or it's dragging and the story's not connecting, AKA Black Widow, I'll fall asleep back and forth. But I had to watch it twice to actually finish watching it because it kept, you know, it just wasn't capturing me. And the actors are good actors. It's just, I really expected more from the, but anyway, we don't want to change movies that are in the middle of this one. But yeah, it really, you know, sort of let me down because I was expecting a lot more from it, knowing how much that movie went through before it actually came out. It was just a little disappointing. I mean, I know you don't want to talk shit about other movies while we're reviewing Shang-Chi, but talk your shit, Pete. It's fine. This is you, this is your show too, all right? Talk your shit, okay? <laughs> I just didn't want to, you know, sidetrack because we know there's so much to say about that shit, that movie. So if you, got, you know, it's just... Like, shit on anything you want, all right? It's all good, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. But yeah, Black Widow was disappointing. That That's basically in a nutshell. And I know Black Widow has so much to offer as far as that goes. I mean, you know, it's like in the, they have this uh, episode in Family Guy where they they were meeting the the Avengers. They're like, "So, what do you do again?" She's like, "Kicking." <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, another successful flick takes. Yep, definitely, man. But All right. Hopefully, you guys go out there and go watch that movie, and I'll bring more information about my my film festival. Uh, film it's uh the the i'll text you i was supposed to text you the trailer didn't i i got you tonight i got you tonight i don't have crazy stuff going on tonight so yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna text it to you now you can take a look let me know what you think but yeah uh, sure but it was uh it was pretty cool to make it and um, i'm happy that it's being recognized so we'll see what happens moving on i'm happy for you and i'm sure we're all very happy for you we can't wait to see it definitely peace